this new stable diffusion extension makes putting your face onto any image just a one step process and it also works with sdxl you don't need to train any custom loda models any checkpoint models or anything just enable this extension put your image and it takes the face from that image onto your generated image first shoot up your stable diffusion and go to extensions let's go to install from url copy the url link from here paste it inside this box and click install now apply and restart ui now that should make the extension available in here using this extension is pretty straightforward you just enable it drop your image here let me choose uh, this image from here and you can write your prompt and run it let's first run it without this extension write our secret prompt then enable refiner model and generate our image if you don't know what refiner extension is i'll put a link in the description you can watch that video and learn all about this extension this is a beautiful image let's set the seed fixed by clicking this button now we shall enable our face swap lab extension drop the reference image here select the face checkpoint enable that blend faces should be on let's hit generate in this way by keeping the seed same we shall be generating the same image but with the new face applied on it and it looks brilliant you can see the similarity we can refine it more by using a similar posed image or something like that let's try another image this time we won't be using the face checkpoint so we are setting it to none now hit generate again and this one is much better compared to before yeah there are some problems here and there that's nothing that can't be fixed in simple in painting or maybe in photoshop and the similarity is really uncanny you can use it in any project of yours and whereas the inside face swap discord bot limits you to 50 images a day and you have to wait in a long queue for that to work this is completely open sourced and you are in the control of what you input and what you generate now let's see how we can use this extension with a previously generated photo let's go to image to image i am going to select an image from here now going to the face swap lab extension again this time i am gonna use this image from here uh, both of them are generated in mid journey i'll be putting just a dot in place of the prompt and the denoising strength should be somewhere around 10% 12% now enable the extension and hit generate and now you can see how freakishly awesome this extension is although with mid journey image as input stable diffusion could not process it properly and give an exact replica of that image with just the other face it changed it in a lot of ways and i also haven't added any prompt in here just one single dot we can refine up the prompt the settings and everything here but you get the point point. and with this tool in the arsenal now creating something like graphic novels with consistent characters or some other project where you need to have consistent characters it's as easy as abc therefore keep playing with the tool let me know in the comments what you find out about it i am also running my own experiments about it as it is a completely new experience extension and if you want to learn about that refiner extension that i just showed to you you should definitely watch this video right here